<clears throat> this video is for Algebra 1098, the second phase of Algebra. I want to talk about pages um, 10 through 12. It says review, actually, yeah. Let's learn about the pages 10 through 12. And one of the things that's different here is notice we have an x, a variable, on both sides of the equation. So let's talk about how to uh, undo that because we have to get the x on only one side. And remember, we always want it on the left-hand side, and then all the other terms or numbers pushed over to the right-hand side. Um, the, the pace calls that transposing, okay? And um, it's just moving the ter terms around so that you can isolate the variable. So we're going to draw a line so we keep all of the steps in line with the equals coming down the middle. So the first thing I want to do is get rid of the x that I have over here on this side. And I'm going to actually do this instead of doing it all in one step like they sometimes do in the pace. I'm going to break it down into smaller steps because again, we're doing the same steps, just adding a couple of steps, all right? And we'll get the same answer. So the first thing I want to do is get rid of the x here. Now notice I have minus x. I could put a 1 in front of it, couldn't I? Because if there is no coefficient, we can assume it's 1. Since I have minus x, I need to undo that by the opposite. So I want to add 1x, okay? So I'm going to add 1x over here, and then that is going to disappear. And over here, I need to do the same thing, add 1x. Now, <clears throat> let me simplify this. If I just put this part together, negative 2x plus positive 1x, I'm left with negative 1x. And what do I have over here? Just the 3. Okay, are you with me? So we got rid of the negative 1x by adding 1x, and we do the same thing to both sides. We're keeping it balanced. I'm adding the coefficient, negative 2. All right, so this, this, if this confuses you, you say, I thought that was minus 2x, and you were tempted to add 2x plus 1x and get 3x, okay? <clears throat> Remember our rule for subtraction. We change subtraction to addition and change the second thing to its opposite. So I'm going to change this to positive, and then I can make that a negative 2x. All right? Now that is definitely the coefficient on x. Negative 2x plus positive 1x gives me negative 1x. Okay? If you like this better, we could call this negative 1x. Okay? So I have the x term on the left, that's what I wanted, but I also want to get rid of the other term on the left. Again, the pace calls this transposing. So I want to transpose the 4 from the left-hand side over to the right. <clears throat> so I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. When I subtract 4 here, that's gone, because 4 minus 4 is 0. So I have 0 plus negative 1x, which is negative 1x, equals, what is 3 minus 4? 3 plus negative 4. Okay, we could write it that way. And I get negative 1. Now we're not quite done, because our final answer always has to be just x, not negative 1x. So how do we get rid of the negative coefficient in front of that? Real simple, you can either multiply by negative one or divide by negative one on both sides. It doesn't matter, you're gonna get the same answer, okay? Um, generally, the rule all the way through algebra is whatever the coefficient is in front of x, you divide by that in order to get x to be by itself. So if I divided by negative one, that would cancel, and negative one divided by negative one, any number divided by itself is, da 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 da, all right, finish that one. Okay, let's, um, almost thought this was a, huh, a problem to solve. No, that's the page number. Here we go. Let's take this one, and I'm not going to go quite as far with it. I just want to set it up, and then I want you to finish it. So we'll draw a line through the equals. The first step is I want to get rid of the variable on the right. Okay, are you with me? So I'm going to subtract 4x. So here I'm going to write minus 4x. So here the 4x and minus 4x is gone. Here I have 2x minus 4x. So we get negative 2x minus 10 equals 14. 
Now, let's get rid of the minus 10. Could we have done all this in one step? Actually, you could have. I like doing it in a separate step, so I'm just focusing on one thing. Get rid of the x term first. Now, let's get rid of the number. So, I'm going to do the opposite of subtracting 10 by adding 10 to both sides. Okay? Now, I'll carry that down. This cancels out, so I have negative 2x equals 24. And then the last step is we undo this multiplication. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. So I can draw a line and divide by negative 2, do the same thing on the other side. Remember my rule for dividing positive and negative numbers. If the signs are different, the answer is negative. And if the signs are the same, the answer is always positive. That's if we're multiplying and dividing. Okay? So I'll stop there with that one. You can finish that problem. And hopefully those little helps and talking it through with you will help you do well on the rest of these pages. They don't give you a lot of practice on pages 10 through 12. Um, <clears throat> and you know what I would tell you is as soon as you finish one page, even if it's just six problems, get right up to the score key and check your answers on those few and make sure that you're on track. Okay, don't try to do a whole bunch of pages. Get all the way up to the checkup and then discover you're confused. Okay?